Hey, hi everyone. My name is Jerry Wise and I'd like to talk to you about narcissistic parents and how trying to change them is a waste of time and energy. I have helped many hundreds and hundreds of people over the last 45 years that I've worked with folks to help them get their family of origin, toxic family of origin, their narcissistic parents out of them. And many of us wish our parents would change and we try to get them to change. And how many of us, if you talk to any of your friends who might have narcissistic parents or alcoholic parents or dysfunctional parents, toxic parents, we've wished they would change and we've tried to get them to change, as I did with my own parents. And these two things are a form of pursuit. In a systems way of thinking, in a family systems way of thinking, if you wish they would change and you're trying to get them to change, you're pursuing someone. And that pursuit can have a negative effect on you. Pursuing a toxic or narcissistic parent only causes the pursuer greater pain and disappointment. Well, what does trying to change them look like? Defensiveness. If we are defensive and we're trying to explain ourselves, we're trying to defend ourselves, that means we're trying to get them to think differently, either about us or about something. Explaining is another, again, that's a part of this uh, defensiveness and explaining. The pleading of your case. And these are some things we want to stop doing because it only keeps us connected in an unhealthy way. Secondly, openly blaming, accusing, confronting is also a wasted time and effort when we are blaming them, when we're accusing them, when we're confronting them. And by the way, blaming is not the same thing as holding them accountable. Blaming is an emotional state that only keeps us unhealthy. Certainly, they can be held accountable, but they're not held accountable by blaming. That only upsets you, and it doesn't really hold them fully accountable. If you want to learn more how to stop these types of pursuits, I've got an online program I would suggest for you. I go into this in much more detail and help you with exercises and tools that will help you to reduce these types of behaviors and also will bring you greater satisfaction, peace, and greater happiness. Thirdly, talking to others about them. That's triangulation. That's another form of pursuit that we will do with narcissistic parents. And again, this pursuit is a waste of time. It only keeps us wrapped up in ways that keep us from focusing on self and on developing us. Fourthly, suggesting family therapy. Having been a marriage and family therapist for many, many years, and I'm not against family therapy. I'm not against therapy. I'm not against counseling. I'm not against, against coaching. But again, if we're trying to suggest that so that they will change, often that will probably not change them. And I would recommend you go get therapy from a family therapist, for example, or a family coach and get coaching from them to work on you so you can change the dynamics between you and the narcissistic parent. People will also fifthly suggest seeing a doctor for medication. Oh, well, you need to go and get help and get some medication for yourself. They may need some medication, but again, you suggesting that may have more to do with how you want them to change rather than how they want to change. Sixthly, pleading, crying, begging, demanding. And there are other forms of pursuit that we can do. And again, crying, begging, demanding, confronting, pleading. All of that just expends our energy versus focusing on ourselves. You were taught to try to change others and not focus on yourself. And you were taught that by the narcissistic parent. 
but we want to reject that because they spent all of that time with you and when you were growing up to try to change you. Don't narcissists try to change everybody else so that they will be happy? That's what they do. They pursued. They pursue. They plead. They cry. They beg. They demand. They expect others to change. And that's them pursuing others so that they can be happy. Well, guess where we learn to do that from them? Secondly, what would you do differently if I told you they would never change? What would you do differently? How would you live your life? How would you feel? And if I said they will never change, what would be the downsides of that for you? Probably important to take it, to examine those for sure. Thirdly, what relationship would you choose with them if you knew they would never change? How would you adjust yourself to this relationship? And I think that's a very important question to ask. And it might give you greater clarity and you might know better what you want in a relationship with them if you knew they would not change. Fourthly, ask what are the downsides of accepting that they can and will not change? And again, as I mentioned before, what are the downsides of doing that? Those are some of the best questions to ask. I explore those questions in the online program much more. I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please comment and please like this video. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day and be wise.